Hi everyone, hope you guys are all doing well. It's Christmas morning right now, and I just thought that I would take some time and do an update video here, just showing you guys our most recent uh, silver purchase that we've been able to make. Uh, before I start though, I just want to say happy holidays to everyone. Um, we haven't made uh, as many videos recently as we were making in the past, and I just want to thank everybody for continuing to watch our videos and re leaving uh, really nice comments and some thumbs up, especially on our previous video. Uh, the comments there just kind of blew my brother and I away. Um, you guys are always very kind with your comments and we just want to thank you for that. Uh, also, just with our update video here, this was a purchase that we made recently. Um, it was through Silver Gold Bowl, I want to say. Uh, everything except for the Scottsdale bars, you'll see. And we were able to take advantage of a free shipping offer that they had, uh, which I think was in connection to Black Friday. So we've had these uh, bars for quite a while. Um, I know Silver Gold Bowl, they were recently offering free silver uh, a couple of days ago as part of their uh, Christmas um, uh, promotions that they were putting on. Uh, we weren't able to take advantage of that, but we were able to back on uh, Black Friday. But enough rambling, let's get into some of the bars that we were able to add. We were able to add our first 100 gram Scottsdale bar. Try to zoom in there. There we can. There we go. And this is the first one that we have of this, and my brother and I have really enjoyed this 100 gram bar. The thing is, is they're uh, a little bit expensive when you do it on a per ounce basis. I think 100 grams works out to about 3.2 ounces, give or take. Uh, if I'm wrong in that, just let me know down in the comments section. But uh, I think it worked out to be uh, right around what you could buy a kookaburra for. So I'm not too sure if on a per ounce basis, if these 100 gram bars uh, make sense to continue to buy uh, down the road. However, we thought that we would purchase one and just to see how we liked it. And we really enjoy this. And actually, it's one of the first times where <laughs> we've been able to actually touch the physical silver that we've purchased. So we may add a few of those uh, down the road here. And we've added six more ounces of the one ounce Johnson Matthew bars. And my brother and I, we really enjoy these one ounce bars. Uh, it's kind of our go-to bar whenever we're trying to lower our, uh, when we're trying the dollar cost average and kind of lower the average price of our stack. Uh, but we added six more of these. We'll continue to add the one ounce Johnson Matthew bars. Uh, you can get them really close to spot, and uh, you know we just like the way that they look. So we've added six more into our silver stack, and fortunately enough too, uh, Silver Gold Bull has gotten some 10 ounce Johnson Matthew bars, and we were able to add two of those for another 20 ounces into our silver stack. And this is the first 10 ounce bar that we were able to get. Uh, we have some of the 10 ounce Lunar Series coins, but as far as bar goes, bars go, uh, these are our first 10 ounce bars. And hopefully we can continue adding uh, some of these 10 ounce bars uh, in the future as well. So with this purchase here, uh, we tried to lower the uh, average cost uh, on a per ounce basis of our stack, which kind of fits in nicely with the diversification, uh, diversification that we tried to go with in our previous video with some of the semi-numismatic and lower mintage coins that we were able to pick up recently as well. And uh, if you... If you check out the comment section of our previous video, uh, Veritas Files, he left a really interesting comment um, just in relation to trying to establish a core position in silver. Uh, if you want to just read his comment and maybe my reply that went with it, um, that's something that we're also focusing on here. We're trying to get um, a core position in silver just with our bars here, trying to get as many ounces as we can, but at the same time, uh, we're still going to try to diversify a little bit and just kind of bring a little bit more of an element of fun into silver stacking uh, just with those lower mintage uh, coins as well. But thank you very much for watching. Again, um, happy holidays to everybody. I hope you guys are all 
having a great end to 2014 here. I should also just mention that we're going to try to add up all of our purchases in 2014 and see exactly how we did with our 100 ounce goal for 2014. With this purchase here, which is just slightly under uh, 30 ounces, I think that we passed our 100 ounce goal. Uh, however, uh, we haven't counted yet, and we do still have one more silver purchase to make before the end of the year. So regardless, I think that we should uh, be over the 100 ounce goal. But I'll show you guys those updates in the future. I don't want to let this video get too long here. Again, thank you to everyone who left a comment in our previous video. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, again, with this video here, we greatly appreciate that as well. But happy holidays, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.